Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover this interesting problem that's called lowest common ancestor of deepest leaves. So we have been given a binary tree. We need to find the lowest common ancestor of its deepest leaves, right? Uh, the constraints here are each node will have a distinct value. So each between one and 1000, right? Each tree will have the nodes between one and 1000. All right, these are just the little notes about what are the leaves what are the depth what are the lowest common ancestors right so we can understand with the help of white word here so let's say if i'm taking any simple binary tree here one two three what will be the lowest common ancestor of deepest leaves here in this case right so we can clearly see in this simple binary tree that uh, lowest common ancestor is one and in fact this is the lca of uh, deepest leaves itself. So when I say LCA, it means lowest common ancestor. This is the LCA is the short form of the lowest common ancestor. All right. So here the depth is one left side, right side is depth is one and one is holding left child and right child and lowest depth can be one itself. Now let me make it little bit more complex basically little bit more complex so let's say it is uh, i added four and five further children now what are the lca here so what is the what is the lca what is the lowest lowest common ancestor of the deepest leaves in this case so if we see here this is the depth two this is also the depth two right so the lowest common ancestor of the deepest leaves will be this this part so e we should return two, four, five because here in the problem itself, they are expecting basically the root, right? So the output should be in this form. Like if it is the root, one is root, then we should just return one, two, three or something like that, right? So it should return the whole tree, right? Uh, whole subtree behind uh, below that uh, LC itself. So LC means root lowest common ancestor. All right. So in this case, two, four, five is uh, our lowest common ancestor. Right now, let's consider another binary tree here. So let's say it is one, two, three, and then this is four. Okay. So let's say in this case, what is the lowest common ancestor of deepest leaves? So let's calculate here the depths, right? So this depth is two, right? Here depth is one. So if we see one, one cannot be the lowest common ancestor at deepest leaves because uh, in this case, basically lowest common ancestor can be basically it, it is only having the right child of the one depth, right? It is having the further leaves till here and the further children child it is having two only and then two is having the further child four. Two can also not be the LCA, one cannot also be the LCA, three cannot also be the LCA. Now let's see the four, right? So four is having at the lowest part right and if we consider the lca part it is having left is null right child is null so in this case four will be our lowest common ancestor of at the deepest leaves because the condition here is or basically we can say the circumstances or the scenario is this because there is four does not have any child let's say if i make it five then in that in that case four will not be the lca in that case two will be an lca right so why it is so because four in that case will have the lowest depth it will still have the depth like two for four i mean so if we come from one to two it is depth is one here depth is two if we go further down from four to null then it will be three right and also for five to null then it will be three and this is two right but we consider lca lowest common ancestor of deepest leaves is basically in this case two because two is having left and right child right so this is the problem i hope this is little bit clear now let's try to see that how we are going to approach this problem okay so let's say let me build this kind of the binary tree here and let's try to collect the facts and observations what are the observations here first of all we can think of couple of things here we need uh, here couple of things uh, so we need the depth at each level right because without depth we cannot compare we cannot have the deepest leaves right we cannot have the deepest depth and another thing we need the deepest depth itself right now these two things we can clearly see okay now what are the other things here so we need to start our traversal from root we will go back basically left go further left so we'll not go back but we will go further to the downside and then 
once we hit that root is null root when root will be null when it will hit root dot left is null and root dot right is null then it will hit the base condition so we can have okay if root is null then in the bottom when we reach to the bottom then we can return the depth itself and what will be the depth depth we will we can keep increasing at each level so let's say it is one two and then once it go to the null then let's say it is three because we increased here and then when it hits the base condition we can return this depth three to four itself right similarly it can here three and then it will hit the base condition it can return three to the four right to four node four and further this three can be returned to Two. So now the two will have the depth three that is coming from four and similarly it will say follow the same process So it will have the depth three that is returning from five because five will also have the same scenario It is left. This is null. This is null and if it is null then it will be hitting the base condition So from the base condition itself we can return the depth right and now the two will have basically two cases right two will have the two depths left depth and right depth and we can check okay if left depth and right depth if they are both are equal to the deepest depth then it means we need to return this lc so in that case we will go ahead and return root so in this case root is two right so that's how we can solve this problem now let's create a couple of placeholders if it is getting too much complex to understand so that uh, those placeholders will help that how we are going to solve this problem all right so uh, let's say let's create uh, one helper method why we are creating helper method so that we can pass the depth itself that is zero initially right so let's say we are returning int y because uh, as we see here on the whiteboard we need to return the depth itself when we hit the base condition okay so lca at deepest leaves right all right so let's say this is root here and let's say this is depth we will make it pretty simple right now and then we will slowly go forward that what other con what are the other conditions we need to fill so let's say base condition right so base condition is basically if root is null right then let's go ahead and return depth itself because here we have seen during our whiteboard that once it hit the base condition it should return the depth so that every node will have the depth like what is the depth from the left side what is the depth from the right side okay all right very good so now let's uh, have the left and right side depths as well so left and right depths how we will calculate these left and right depths we will call it recursively okay so deepest leaves what it is going to do it will call the same method again right until it hit the base condition right root dot left and then depth plus one so we need to increase the depth at each level right and right is basically lca at d best leaves similarly here root dot right depth plus one all right uh one it what we need to return here so basically once we will hit the base condition then we are returning the depth and that's what we already covered here right so we are already returning here the depth right now in the end once we hit basically the bottom right i mean left and right we just come to the all the way to the bottom then we need to basically return whatever the maximum out of left and right right so let's consider this case right so if it is having one two four and then three right so whatever the maximum to maximum is there that base condition will return three in this case one two three and then this three will return basically uh, four node four will return three and how it will return three it will decide okay what is the maximum out of three and this is also let's say this is also hit the base condition and it return three right so what is the maximum out of left left and right and it will pass to its parent right so it's returned three to two and now it will check okay what is getting it from the right what is what two is getting from its right child right so right child is null and this depth is one so this depth if it will go to the right then it will get the two right so it will get two from null from right side is null so it will hit the base condition and then it will return two and then it will check okay what is the maximum out of left child that is three 
and right child that is 2 so 3 is maximum then it will return 3 right that's how 1 will have 3 so that's why we need to decide at every node okay what is my maximum out of left child and right child so here we need to return math dot max left comma right so we can decide okay what is the maximum out of left and right okay so very good now once we are at the very bottom right so now we are having the depth at left and right so let's uh, check if left is equals to deepest and right is also equals to deepest then set LCA here right so set LCA okay so this is the placeholder and these are the conditions I mean this is this should be the skeleton of the code right I hope this is clear if this is not clear let me explain it once again so one two three four right so what we are going I'm taking this edge case I'm not taking the balanced kind of the binary tree uh, I'm taking this case so the 4 is the LC and then we can understand it more right so it's going very bottom it's traversing from 1 to 2 and then 2 to 4 so it's let's say this depth is 1 right here depth is 1 then depth is 2 and then it's going to base condition this is this hit the base condition because it is null here but the depth has been become 3 because we are increasing the depth right at every level so whenever we are going to the recursion we don't know whether it's null or not once we hit the base condition then we will know but till the time depth has already been increased and that's why I'm saying okay it will check it is null but the depth has already been increased and it has become 3 so it will uh, get 3 to the 4 now this 3 and similarly it will happen the same case it will hit the base condition because it is null and then it will be increased and then it will uh, return from the base condition it will return depth so it will return 3 to the node 4 and this 3 it will check okay what is the maximum out of 3 and 3 that is 3 so it will return 3 here to 2 and it will hit the base condition 2 right and it will return 2 here so it will check okay what is the maximum out of 3 and 2 it is 3 so it will return 3 to 1 right similarly it will go here 1 and it will hit the base condition that is null so it will get 2 from left ch right child it will get uh, 2 from left child so it is getting 2 and 2 from both left and right and what is the maximum out of left and right 2 and 2 the maximum is 2 itself so now it will return 2 from uh, 3 to 1 so 3 will return 2 to 1 now what is the maximum out of left and right so 3 and 2 maximum is 3 so it will keep the 3 height for 1 right but here what we are doing we need to calculate the LC at the deepest leaves so once we hit the this condition when we get the deepest leaves that is 3 then we will be checking okay who is holding the deepest leaf so in this case 4 is holding the deepest leaf and that is 3 from its left child that is null from the right child that is also null but it's having the 3 here so 4 will be our output right because 2 is getting 3 from the left side and it is getting 2 from the right side so it's first of all this 3 should also be on the right side if we are having another node called 5 or any other node like 7 right then it will get 3 from right side as well in that case 2 will become LCA but if there is no right child here then 4 will become an LCA so I hope this might make sense so that's the skeleton now let's quickly fill these gaps here now we need to do a couple more things here not too much things we are almost done 90 percent we just need to calculate the deepest as well right so calculate deepest what is the deepest depth so deepest depth how we will calculate we will be checking okay deepest equals to math dot max deepest and then depth why we are calculating deepest here right that's a good question we are calculating deepest here is because uh, every time it will go to the recursion this will be the first statement coming here even before hitting the base condition so that is the nice place to have calculate uh, to calculate the deepest in the starting of the method itself so that we will have the updated deepest value right even hitting the even before hitting the base condition so that that's why this is the first uh, statement in this recursive call all right so now another thing uh, so deepest and everything let's define all these properly right so rather than creating any uh, 
another way is basically you can have the global variables that's called dpest and lca another very another uh, might be like just create some array kind of thing uh, let me go ahead with some approach called basically object label so let's say i'm having the class node and then it's having two variable that's called lca and another is called dpest right and let's uh, create the object here so node node equals to new node okay and let's pass this node here itself and then once this node is populated let's go ahead and return this node.lca so let's go ahead and pass this node here itself okay and let's add this parameter everywhere so this would be node this would be node set lca basically node dot lca would be root in this case right and uh, here so it will be node dot dpest this would also be node dot dpest and then this would also be node dot dpest and then this would also be node dot dpest so I mean logically it's everything is same I just wrapped up this dpest inside the node object and also I wrapped up basically I created this LCA inside the object called node that's the only difference otherwise it's everything is same so I hope it makes sense let me go ahead and compile and let's see if it is uh, getting compiled it's getting compiled let's uh, check for other cases as well let's say four five so this tree is looking like this right one two three four five so in this case two four five should be our uh, output let's go ahead and verify so 245 is this very good now let's see for only four right so this is our tree here one two three four in this case we have seen during whiteboard session that uh, four should be our an lca so four is our lca so that's good so looks like uh, whatever we discussed during whiteboard that uh, working as expected quickly the time complexity wise it will be order of n the space complexity would also be order of n because uh, we are traversing each and every node in this process right let's go ahead and submit and let's see if it is going to work so this is going to work right so that's not an issue now very quick summary just to conceptualize this again right before ending this video first of all uh, this is the lowest common ancestor of the deepest leaves so when we talk about the deepest leaves we need to basically go deep right go deep means go to bottom and to go to bottom basically we need to calculate left depth and right depth and that's why we are having this skeleton we are uh, having here the method that's returning integer and we are having the left and right side and we are just checking okay and uh, so once we go to the left and right we are having another variable that's called dpest that will keep a track of max whether what is the maximum depth right so we are having here the depth that we are keep increasing at, at each level and we are keeping track okay what is the maximum dpest depth by comparing with the depth itself so once we know the dpest depth right we are comparing our left and right side we are comparing uh, left and right side whether it's equals to dpest or not right so in this case like it is one one and then it will hit the base condition then it will be two two will be returned here two will be returned from here itself similarly two will be returned from here itself it will hit the base condition it will return two to three and then three and two they will be returning two to one so now one will have basically left and right that is two right so it will be returning it will be getting two from left side it will be getting two from right side itself so now one will had the uh, and already we calculated okay deepest what is the deepest left that is two because with the help of this statement and it's uh, even calculating before hitting the base condition so that's why i'm saying even if it is going to the null that is going to return the depth itself right so it will be having two and it will be checking okay deepest is also two left and right is also two it means it is the lca right so that's what exactly we are doing right and another edge case where we were having four here right so one two three and then four this is also working in the same manner right so four is having here like one two and then three so it will be having three and also it will be getting three from the right side so three is the deepest and left and right is also equal to uh, basically deepest so that's why four is the lca however for two it's not the case because it's getting three from the left side and it will be getting two from the right side so two from the right side means it is the null right right child is the null so it will be getting two because it is the one 
and then basically after going to the base uh, basically before hitting the base condition going to the root dot right that is null it will be increasing by one so it will be two and it by the base condition it will be returning two here so left child is returning three right child is returning two and they are basically two is not equal to d paste because d paste is three and that's why lca is four so i hope it is uh, making sense if not just let me know feel free to share your ideas as well but i did not mean to over complicate this this is basically i uh, i just wanted to make it a little bit more simpler but if i'm over complicating or it is basically making uh, a little bit not fully understandable just feel free to let me know hope this is helpful thanks a lot have a good one bye